Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. You guys, I thought that I would be doing an unboxing of my 15 by 15 StarCraft clamshell heat press, but that didn't happen because the printer, the heat press that I ordered is not the heat press that I received. I actually received a better heat press than that one but I wanted to just check with the company to see how they wanted me to proceed. So we will put that on pause for right now and uh, we will just get into this tutorial because this was next anyway. Um, in today's tutorial, I will be showing you my process for doing a photo mug with sublimation. So this is the way one of them turned out. This is from my wedding day and it literally was the best day ever. And um, this one, you know, it tells a story also because Cricut, what it, this says cricket crafting makes everything better so true statement for me all right so without further ado let's head on over and see what materials you will need to create a design like these with your photos okay in order to complete this project i use my cricket mug press i'm using two of the 12 ounce um cricket mugs i'm using butcher paper my cricket heat press mat um, the ASAP paper, the 125 grams, the Hippo sublimation ink. I did use, um, you know, one of my favorite tools. What is this thing? <laughs> the lint roller. Um, and I ended up, I, I will be using some of the Cricut heat tape. And just, you know, depending on if I am patient tonight, I will be using um my gloves my heat resistant gloves if i need to i am i intended to use this photo this was the one that i made in the video but um after i printed it i realized i didn't like the way the black look right here so i ended up printing it again and i did this part on white so I'll just do the rest of this, you know, I'll speed this up and show you how I prepared my mugs. I did wipe them down with alcohol. I will go over them one time with the lint roller and um, I will just show you their process just very quickly and get the mugs ready to be uh, put into the heat space. And I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, the first thing that I'll do is um, click on the word projects and then I will go to the top in the menu and type in mug. Um, the option that I choose is mug design setup. I'm using a Cricut mug. I'm using the 12 ounce size and I'm going to choose small straight edge and click customize. Okay. When the, um, the, the design comes in, I typically minimize the view on my screen just a little bit. I'm going to bring it down to about 50% just for a little bit, and I'll bring it back up to 75%. This, um, where it says hide this layer before cutting, this, the purpose of these, let me bring it up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. The purpose of these mugs right here is to help you center the design that you will be placing on your mug. All right, so for tonight in this tutorial, I'm going to show you my process for doing photo sublimation um, mugs using the Cricut Mug Press. So the first thing I'll do is upload the first photo that I'm planning to use, and it is this one. It's going to come in really big, and you'll see. Um, okay, so I'm just going to resize it to 3.0. Okay, and just bring it down. Um, I'm also going to use this photo right here. It's also going to come in big. And once again, I'll just bring it down. I'll just change the width to 3.0 and bring it down here. And I will be using um, this file right here. It is from a bundle that I purchased from Design Bundles. It just says crafting makes everything better. Same thing, I'll bring it down to 3.0, okay? All right, um, and then the next thing that I am going to do is I am going to bring this down to 50% now, and I'm going to grab a square shape. And I am going to, I found that um, three squares will fit on this mug perfectly if they are size 
correctly. So what I found is 2.8 works very well. So I'll just resize this square to 2.8 and then I will duplicate that twice. Okay, so I'm gonna take that square and I really don't have to duplicate it, but I'm just gonna show you what I mean by it will fit on the mug um, perfectly. Okay, so if I wanted to put, you know, three different images on this mug, which I am, um, they will fit, they will fit perfectly and look really nice. Okay, so what I can do, I just wanted you to see that, you know, they will fit and they'll look nice and they'll line up beautifully. Um, what I'm going to do now is use the slice feature to slice these three pieces out um, and make sure that they are that 2.8 size. Um, I'm also going to change this file up a little bit because this says crafting makes everything better, but for me, it's Cricut Crafting. So um, I am going to actually go to Images, um, go to Ownership. I'm searching for free files, okay? And I'm searching for a cutie, okay? So whenever I'm looking through the files, I'm only looking for free files. And um, I like this one right here. So, but there are several options for cuties if you want to make something you know, like this. This one is cute because look how cool he looks. Um, I also like, I like this one. Um, there was one other one that I saw. I mean, there a lot. I like this one right here too because he's just like peeking over the machine. But I like the first one that I chose because it actually has the word Cricut in there. And, you know, Cricut is my machine of choice. Okay. So I am, look at him being grumpy, annoyed cutie. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Um, I am going to go back to that first one that I chose that I said I like, which is this one. I'm going to, uh, I think I, I think I deselected. Yeah. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Let me go back one more time and get the one that go back to ownership looking for free files um looking for a cutie this one right here i'm going to insert it and what i'm going to do let me go ahead and delete this one i am going to bring this down so much that you know i want to make sure that it fits well on top of this SVG. So it almost looks like it just, you know, came together. All right. So I will select both and I will group them so that when they, when I'm resizing them, they will, you know, resize together. Okay. That's going to be really, really cute. That's going to be really, really cute. Okay. So now I'm going to bring my view up a little bit just to make sure you can see everything that I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to take my first square. I'm going to put my photo. I'm going to actually put the, I'm going to change this to, um, I'll just change it to a draw so I can see you know, my slice, because I'm going to be using the slice feature and I want to see what I'm actually slicing out. So I want to make sure the hammer is in there. Okay, so I'm going to slice it. And now the size of this picture is that perfect 2.8. Okay, so I don't need this. I can go ahead and delete this. Now this this one might be a little bit tricky because it's long and I'm going to have to play with it a little bit to um, be able to, to be able to slice it out. What I might, I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to ungroup this and do this part. Just make sure this fits in that 2.8. 
box and then bring this down to fit. Now my cutie is a little bit small. So what I'm gonna do is bring this down even more because I want the cutie to be, I want the cutie to be seen. And I don't I don't know if I need that um blue bottle. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but um, let me align this. Okay. And then I will group it and put it back in this box okay so it looks good right there what I'm going to do with this now is let me move this box down put this on top and I think I have too many layers but let me see yeah, I do. So what I'm going to have to do with this is uh, weld it, and then I will be able to um, slice it out. So let me center it. I'm going to go to align. I'm going to center this horizontally, and then I'm going to slice it. Okay. And then if I wanted to make this a little bit bigger, I could. I actually want to make it a little bit um, wider. Like that. I like that. Well, my cutie looks a little bit warped, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to delete this, and I'll just hide this for now because I don't, I don't think I need it. But All right, and then the last one is this photo. Um, I'm not going to use this box. I'll use this one since it's already in a draw, and I'll be able to see what I'm slicing. Okay, so I want to make sure the hammer is in there. All right, and I'm going to slice this. Okay. And now I'm finished with this. I don't need this. I know that the size of this is the perfect 2.8. Now I will select all three objects. My third picture, my middle, my SVG, and the first picture. And I will align all of them to the bottom. And then I will, I don't need this mug wrap that part right there. And I also don't need um, this hide before. All right, so now I'm gonna select them again and I am going to group them because I want them to stay together. And if I wanna resize it just a little bit, because I want that to be as, you know, fill up the whole wrap. I can do that. And I want this, I actually want this, I want to make sure that that is going to be black. And my base layer, this basic cut, I want that to be blue. I think that is so cute. I think it's super cute. Okay. So now that I have it just the way I want it, I will flatten this, okay? And I will click make it. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay, I will 
get this printed out. And while this is printing out, um, I will be using my um, Epson 2760 sublimation printer. Um, I will show you what my settings look like. I'm going to send this to the printer. I do keep the ad bleed on. And I'm also going to um, turn on use system dialog because I want to make sure that I get the right settings. I want to make sure that my printer settings pop up so that I can, you know, make sure that I have it exactly where I want it. Okay, so if I click print right now, it's not actually going to print. My printer settings will pop up. And that's that's exactly what I want to happen. Just thinking about it. Okay, so my Epson 2760 is selected. I'm going to click on preferences. All right, so when I look here and I go to sublimation preset, my sublimation preset is eight and a half by eleven premium presentation paper mat high uh, high quality color. Two sided printing is off, um, and I can click OK because my settings are already set to the exact way that I want them. Color management, um, the color mode is Adobe RGB, um, and hopefully you can see you know all of my settings right here. I've uh, reviewed the settings in probably the first sublimation um, video that I did, so please just go back and look at um, the video that I did on sublimation where I did the sublim sublimating on a t-shirt. Okay, I am going to, let me make sure I have my, yes, okay. I wanna click okay, and then I am going to click print. I'm using a sub paper, the paper that I referenced in the uh, materials. That I um, made a, in reference to my wedding, and I kind of just followed the same process. I typed our name. Um, our, the, the font that I use for our name is Gill Sands MT Condensed. Um, the photos are resized to 2.448 by 3.778. I use six photos. I just typed best day ever. Um, this font, let me see if I can see it. Um, it is Franklin Gothic Heavy, and I did a, a 0.65 offset behind Best Day Ever, and then Ford is in Gil Sands MT Condensed. I will select the whole thing. I use the same mug wrap design, the 12 ounce size for the uh, Cricut mug. I'm going to flatten this, and I will click Make It. Had to get my big gloves. <laughs> Maybe if I fold them up. But anyway, um, let's see. I'm worried about worried about the white letters. I didn't think about that until after I started taping it down. Hopefully, I taped it enough. Hopefully, I didn't get any. Um... Now this mug is hot. I, I know it's hot because I've you know, dealt with it before. I might have to take one of them off and get my big, my big, ooh, yes, hot. Okay. Let me get my tweezers.
I'm gonna be careful not to scratch my image. Scratch the photo. Oh, that looks good. Oh, wow! Wowzers! Girl, look at Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. Look at it, it's me again, Delanda. I might have to go get my name changed to me. Well, you better be having a hammer on the picture. Looking funny. This is just... Y'all, this was... the I'm the person who didn't think I wanted a mug press, or, and I didn't think I needed a mug press. I'm telling you, this is quickly becoming my favorite... Cricut product. This is O M. I hope I'm in the camera. I hope I'm in the. This is just the cute. Look how cute that is. Look. Look at the cutie. Look at the cutie. It's three cuties. <laughs> So cute. Okay, this mug press just beeped. I'm not gonna put on my gloves just yet. Ooh, got some, looks like it's scorched. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't get any ghosting that all of the images on the mug. Um, I'll let it cool down for a, a minute or two or three or four and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay. Um, Went ahead and took the gloves off. I did let this cool down for about five minutes, seven minutes. Still a little bit warm. Ooh. I take this one a lot because I was worried about the ghosting. My God, I guess I taped it a little too much. I don't know if there's any such thing as too much. Not when it comes to um, I'm anxious, feeling anxious. Still very, very hot, but it looks good. Uh, let me speed this up so we don't have to waste your time. Okay, so that is the final product. That's both mugs. This one was from our wedding day, best day. It really literally was the best day ever. And this is one that I made for myself. I'm, I am a coffee drinker, but I might even put Dr. Pepper in there because Dr. Pepper is my favorite drink. All right, I will go and give you my final thoughts and um, close this thing out. Okay, so hopefully you were able to follow along with my process. I will keep you posted on my, we'll call it Heat Press Chronicles and see where we go with that. Um, hopefully you were able to get, you know, your design to look something like this with the photos that you've selected of you and your family or a special day or, you know, whatever you wanted to do for um, using your photos for sublimation and your uh, Cricut mug press. This is, I love this thing. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every Tuesday and Friday without fail. And even though I did not do an unboxing of my heat press as intended, I still uploaded content today. Um, so please forgive me for not doing the video that I said I would do. All right. Thanks so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.